In the second of these two clips, we show you how easy it is to recalibrate the temperature on your Mini or Octagon Advance machine. I have an internal temperature that I have measured at 36, and the machine is reading on the temperature display 37.6, 37.5. So what I need to do is to go into the calibration menu, which is different from the main menu. Now we deliberately make this difficult to get into, but even then, we occasionally get customers who accidentally go into the calibration menu and it does cause problems if they haven't realized this is what they've done. So we do make it difficult. You need to press the OK button and the minus and the plus all down together, all three of them at the same time to get access to the calibration menu. So if I do this, this, and this, I should get into the calibration menu. Once you're in, you will immediately see that the CAL abbreviation for calibration is appearing on the setting. In this case, it's the temperature setting, and it will appear on all the settings that uh, you go through. And I can scroll through those settings just using the plus indicator here, the plus button will take me through the various settings that I could, in theory, change. OK, and the minus will take me back through the various settings that I could calibrate. I'm only interested in the temperature to be recalibrated to what is actually going on inside the machine, which, as I say, is 36 degrees. On the display, it's reading 37. So I'm on the calibration setting for temperature at the moment, but I need to go into that setting. So in order to go in, I need to press the OK button. It's saying calibrate. It says 37.6. What I want to do is to move that now down to 36 because that's what I've got going on inside the machine. You can see it's in the calibration mode. So I'm going to press the minus button to get it down to 36 now. 36.7, 36 36.6, 35, 4, 2, 1. There we are, 36. I'm going to press OK now to uh, move on from there. Uh, and having put, pressed OK, I'm going to take it through to the save setting because I want to save the changes that I've made. If I don't save these changes, they won't register the changes I've made. So I have to press save. I just have to press the OK on save. That now has taken me out of the calibration menu back into the normal menu. And you can see the temperature now is saying that inside this machine it is 36.8 degrees. It's already working its way back up to my target of 37.5. Okay, because that's what I've set the machine to work to. But within the calibration menu, I synchronized the temperature with the internal temperature I was getting on my thermometer. So it's fairly easy to do. What I would then do is leave the thermometer in there for another hour and then come back and check that, again, what I'm getting inside is matching what I'm getting on the machine. And you can see the machine has pulled that temperature back up to 37.6, 37.5. Yeah. Uh, but I want to now check uh, once it's stabilized to make sure that that temperature inside is the same as this. So it's easy to do. And we'd recommend you check your temperature, at least at the start of each season. Remember to use a reliable and sens sensitive thermometer like ours. And just to remind you that the thermometer that we use can be obtained through our website, part number 14.231. Remember to leave the machine stabilized for an hour when you are checking temperature. and. Remember to check and recalibrate the temperature in a stable environment within our guidelines of 15 to 25 degrees centigrade. And don't do it close to a heater or a window. And finally, once you have adjusted the temperature in the calibration menu, remember to save your changes and exit the calibration menu and then retest your temperature to make sure you've done it correctly. And that's it.